Live from Las Vegas, Fox 5 News This Morning starts right now. You know, it's good to set goals for your kids and then teach them to succeed in school and at home. And here with some good tips is 10-minute coach Dan Lero. You have some other goals for the kids. Yeah, well, I get a lot of calls right now. You know, I do. I coach a lot of high-end clients all across the country working on their business goals. And a lot of these uh, people have kids, and they always talk about, okay, now how do I get my kids in line at school? Yeah. I want to I want to teach them respect. I want to teach them raise their self-esteem. So I, we came up with four rules that we implement for kids, and they work great. So okay. let's, let's get started, right? Sure. Step one is to really make the expectations clear. Okay. A lot of parents say, oh, I want you to be a good kid or be prepared for school. That's pretty kind ambiguous. Of open -ended. It's yeah. open-ended, so we don't really know. So it's real, it sounds real silly, but you've got to actually say, before you leave for school, your room needs to be clean. Yep. Uh, pick up your clothes, brush your teeth, and, and for instance, make sure your schoolwork is done the night before. Mm -hmm. uh, brush your teeth, little things like that, and just clear expectations. Sit them down and run through the list and say, hey, do you want, is there any questions about the expectations, yes or no? So that's clear. How like often a, do you do that? Well, just once. I mean, when, okay. you, when you when you roll out the rules. So that's number one. It's like anything else. It's okay. like talking to an employee. Sure. Right? Obviously, it's a kid. It's fun and all that, but you got to be clear. Okay. And number two is make them doable. And that's the biggest challenge with not just kids, but adults in general. Right. You know, when I r rolled out my product at Home Shopping Network, we one of my things was you got to make the, your goals doable. Big, cha big challenge for people is they say, oh, I'm going to lose 300 pounds this year. I'm going to lose right. a pound. And then they, they don't do it because it's too much. So you've right. got to make, to build self-esteem in kids, they have to have a sense of accomplishment. So you got to make your goals doable. Right. So you got to make sure they get they can be successful. Base hits, not necessarily a home yeah, run. Base hits, not okay. home runs. All right. Now, number three is create a scoreboard. Most people are visual, and mm -hmm. kids like to be successful. So a lot of people put an Excel spreadsheet up on the refrigerator. Uh -huh. I got a whiteboard from Target and stuck it in their bedroom so they have a sense of accomplishment they check them off oh cool they, you yeah. know it's kind of interesting the first time i did it my kids brought me in and said hey daddy look at the scoreboard let me show you what i did uh-huh so they show the sense of accomplishment and which leads us to step four okay which is really the most important one that's it's, it's acknowledgement okay and letting them know they did a great job you know mm -hmm. most people in our culture don't get enough acknowledgement you know, from right. their boss, True. from their coworkers. So as a parent, you have to, to build self-esteem. Let them know they're doing a great job. Ask them how it felt. Tell me what was fun. What can we do better? So they, they have a sense of accomplishment and you're having conversation about it. They feel okay. great about what they're doing. Instead of, instead of making it a job, right. all of a sudden it's fun and they're doing their chores and, and their responsibilities. And you're teaching them responsibility and also building self-esteem, which is all really key. All right, Dan. Hey, thanks for stopping oh, by absolutely. again. Yeah, it's a nice uh, pep talk for the <laughs> beginning of the week. The work week and the school week. All right, Monica. All right, thanks a lot, guys. And you know what, Dan, that actually works at home with adults, too. Checking off your accomplishments, that's pretty good.